Today's vault, my fellow gamers. So here we've got ourselves a box. We're really late at night. I don't know what's wrong with our, our postal service, but this just came really, really late. And I was already in bed, ready to get my phone game on. And I see that this has come. So I really wanted to get it. Yeah. So, uh, these things are not easy to get a hold of. So, okay. Noble Armada, Lil Halan ships. This is the old, like, first edition, I guess, box set of these ships. Um, it's not shrink-wrapped or anything, so. Uh, oh, and here we go. So, here we yeah, You get four of those. Well, guys, these are like the borders. Four of those and four of these. We're gonna check out. See, let me see. We got four raiders, four frigates, and four galleots. So, one set of deck plans and two new display sheets for the raider and the galliot. Nice. So, man, yeah, been waiting for these. I have the big brother to this box coming from over the pond. It's supposed to be stateside now. Uh, so we will see what we will see. All right. Mm. Bro. Okay. All right, there's a brown inserts probably because there, there's not much here bubble wrap man these are some flat ships there's four in there and looks like four in there very flat and these are some cute little ships right here those are some flat ones good gracious and then we do have the old school bases um, these are the hex bases they used in the original game. Now, um, the, the newer things that are still like almost two, over two decades old now. Um, this, this game's way out of print, but they give you the, the um, clear acrylic flight stands. So these kind of old school, I might find some use with Battletech stuff. We'll see. Uh, it's like a pamphlet. It's a product catalog. Nice. No longer as a defunct address and whatnot, but man. Payment check or money order, MasterCard, Visa, Discover, or Amex. Shipping $5 per order under 50 bucks. Expect two to three weeks delivery time. International postage is 25% of total order purchase or $10, whichever is greater. Yeah, but this looks like a ill Halan dude. Oh man, get the the old school box set, old school. Yeah, and then role playing game stuff and character miniatures. Ooh, old defunct. <laughs> uh, man, it comes with a healthy amount of stuff. Man, the Galat. Yeah, look at that mess. Thrust track, battle shields. So this, I guess there was a lot of stuff in the first edition book that isn't used in the newer edition. I say newer edition, it's still, it's 20 plus years and it's been defunct. Uh, troop quarters, bridge, port broadside, shield, 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 shield. That's pretty cool, it gives you kind of lay, layout blank sheet of paper on the back so we've got one for the raider and raider slayer okay so slayer is the name of the raider it's pretty cool and then we've got three d20 
deals. I guess if you wanted to play like you were actually inside the ship with miniatures. Jimmy Christmas. Okay. Storage is kind of a typical like bathroom sink, like shower, and then storage. Okay, that's interesting. So somebody just went crazy with a simple uh, like architect drawing. I think it's stupid. <laughs> they got little sitting areas and then locked boxes. So I guess. Car gold hold down to exit. It shows you the ship there. Uh, color is purple or white, just in case you don't know. I will not be touching these ships with purple. No, oh, a chapel with a pulpit. That's cool. That's cool. They got, uh, yeah, so the leader sleeps off of the pulpit area. A library. Nice. Rig. And then they got a second officer. Tools and supplies. They don't have a galley in here. Middle deck. What do these guys eat? This must be just one door to exit supplies. Uh, and maybe these are bunks. These peas on there are bunks. They don't have a, a key on here. So, yeah, I'm kind of thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bunks here with two pillows each. Kind of strange. And there's like an inn with an asterisk there. Yeah, I don't know. They've got a bunk there with a restroom underneath that, too. That's just strange. Just strange. I can see if you wanted to have some miniatures or something or do like a flow chart, you're kind of like raiding or fighting in here, you know, for a boarding action. Pretty interesting stuff. So, um, interesting. And I'm not going to do it for these because it's going to be the same crappy ancient. Uh, Microsoft. Okay, man, this is about as light. Look at that, man. It's kind of got like a little, a little Star Trek thing going on down there with the disc. It's got a little hole there. That's interesting. And then some thrusters. <sighs> Thank God, I'm tired. That's interesting. I guess these little bump nodule things, that's going to be your your firearms. Port and starboard. You just... See, this is the one that has all the grappling hooks uh, in the rules. And I did. I did pick up a set of the rules. Uh, this is actually a cool game. Um, they've got, like, immediately when you open up the book, it starts getting into, like, your different phases. It starts immediately with the, the meat and potatoes. There is no, like, bull mess. It, it goes into, actually, the game. Like, you know, and with the tables for where you're, if this is the critical table, so if you roll shields or crew or whatnot, it tells you what happens. And if you roll multiple, you know, your first critical is here, second critical, third critical. And it's just really great. Uh, let me see, because they'll also, they got advanced rules in here too. And some of them are really cool like this. I just love this. They've got the gravity well rules for planets or moons. 
which is really cool. And then like generating your stellar debris. <sighs> you could only get one planet, which is pretty much bull crap, but yeah. So I only have one planet on the board and it uses a six by four board. Yeah, anyway, the rules for this are really good. I, I like it. Um, I like the rule system. So, all right, so there's these things. Extremely thin. Uh, you know, you don't have to be aerodynamic in space. It's space. I don't know. But, you know, if times get tight, I'll put this on the end of a shaft, and I can go hunting with it. So. All right, let's see. No Ziploc bags for you. All right. These, at least they gave them a tiny fin. That gave it some dimension. Look at that man shit. <laughs> oh, man, give me a guitar. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, it's a pick, bro. Jeez. Maybe I should do all my unboxings with one of these. Holy crap. I could sharpen the front and it would be good to go. Uh, detail, okay. It's got panel lining and stuff, but man, you can only think that these little bumps on the side, that's a broadside. <coughs> Engines. Thrusters, whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's... Mm. And for a game made in the 2000s, you'd... I don't know, you'd expect a little bit more. Look at these little bitty shits. It's, a, it's another pick with a fin. <laughs> of course, much smaller guns. Actually, these tiny ones have better detail. Uh, See all the panel lining, and then they even have circles in the very front of it. See, it's got like a little circle there, a little circle indent all around. Yeah, it has, you know, actually better detail than the bigger one. There's more, there's more in it, which is crazy. Of course, the bottom has hardly any detail. <sighs> Actually, everything's kind of off-center. And see those two, those two little round spots in the front? They're not even centered up or anything. Man, jeez. This is still the era of hand sculpting, I believe. I kind of think that these two, these two connection pieces up here need to be cut. This, uh, this front wedge section needs to be separate. Well, so this is the beginning starting fleet for Noble Mana. This is the old school one. Like I said, the new school fleet box has so much more. And that that Dagon thing ran me a pretty penny. So hopefully the ships, I mean, you're going to get more of these ships in that box. But they have... Um, more better ships. There's actually destroyers and a carrier in that box. And like I said, the bases are up to date. Uh, acrylics, like you would see in uh, uh, modern games. Uh, so, yeah, these are pretty good ships. Um, they mostly have grappling hooks. Um, these have a lot of firepower to them, and they actually have a really good firepower. And I don't know, I guess this is just a cheaper option. If you just wanted to bring something annoying, it would be those. But, um, yeah, this is, that's my borders right there. A whole pack of them. <sighs> It'd be nice if they weren't so thin. They're terribly thin. Uh, but I actually like the faction. These guys. Okay, it's, uh, it's just straight black. It's not even clear and sparkly like 
Yeah, it just, just looks like it's it's uh, straight black. Some people were saying there's like a smoke with sparkle, uh, like metal flake in it, but it's not. It's just shitty black plastic. Okay. okay. Cool, I guess. The uh, the maps are pretty cool. That's interesting. But these guys. Lil Halan, they actually have lasers, medium lasers and stuff on their, their ships. And some of them are, are small lasers, light lasers, but most of them are medium. And they, uh, the lasers have, have pretty awesome rules. It's um, precise and, um, well, let me just show you, it's in the book. They have good rules. Some painted ones here and stuff, but okay. So yeah, accurate and precise for their lasers. Burnout means that it burns out uh, shields. Uh, so it's like yeah, it's, it burns the shields before it gets to the ship. Uh, and they're fast ships with lasers that have good range. They got 28 inches for range. Um, the attack dice, it's pretty minimal, just three attack dice for, for this one with the medium lasers. But if we go to that tiny guitar pick guy, he's got five attack dice at 28 inch ranges. Same stinking lasers, medium lasers, medium lasers. Why does the profile change? I don't know. Why is it two less attack dice? I don't know. Uh, now the roles of these ships change a little bit. This one has nine troops. This one only has six. And if you look at this one, only has one grapple gun, whereas this one has like five. It's got four here and then one there. So it's in the forward arc, the port arc, and the starboard arc. So uh, this one really you know goes to town and uh, gets stuck in. And also, if you look too, it takes more damage. See, it's at uh, 21 and seven, whereas this one's damage is 18, six. Not that much more, to be honest with you. Um, the shields are the same and the hull is the same on it. But this one's meant to uh, take out uh, ships via boarding actions. And this one's just meant to, you know, it could board if it wanted to, but it's, it has the slightly more powerful guns. Yeah, it's, it's it's weird, these two. Like, really, why is the attack dice different? You know, explain it to me. Explain it to me. Why am I paying 20 extra points for two less attack dice on both the, the guns? It's just... It's dumb. It's dumb, and it's only... It's three more troops than that one. Uh, it's got a better ramming. I can't... I don't know. It's, it's goofy. It's goofy. I see that one's 16, so it can run people down faster. I haven't yet played the game. Uh, this is a game that I'm going to play with my buddy Matt. He does the Dead uh, Gaming Society videos. And so I decided, let's go ahead and pick it up because we play a bunch of the other uh, Dead Game stuff that he and I both liked. Uh, back in the day, back in the late 90s. So I myself have never played this. I like it, I played Battlefield Gothic, I played uh, Drop Fleet Commander. I didn't like either of those, to be honest with you. But I like how this, this rule book is set up and I like metal fleets. I'm gonna be honest, I like metal ships, even though they are super thin toothpicks. But I like this, this so far. I love the rules, I think it's cool. Uh, we're going to be using a hex map base system because we're going to be gaming over the telephone. And we're going to see how that works because it, the ships are measured from the center stem of their base to center stem kind of a deal. Where you have the little um, uh, you these little fighters. And I'll get some of the... Oh no, this is that that small one in here you get smaller fighters than this that are just on these little coin like these little bitty coin things uh, and they are actually let me 
Let's see if I can't find them. Uh, there. Okay, here's some. So, they're on these little bitty, like, coin bases, kind of. And so with this, you would measure, you could either do the center or the four. It's up to you. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try to play this. Uh, so I have the Lil Halan. I've got the big deck, or the big <laughs> deck, the big fleet box set coming. And then I have another big fleet box set of these guys called Hazat, and that will be coming as well so that I can proxy his uh, forces while we're um, we're playing the game so that uh, uh, so that you know I know his positioning exactly uh, should be fun and hopefully we can get something recorded because that will be cool too for you guys to see some of these games played out. But yeah, like I said, this is ancient, and I guess they pioneered this too. I don't know if they pioneered it really, but it's the it's a sticker. And what they have is they just have this basic Noble Armada box, Noble Armada, their own name, but then they just slap a sticker on. So you order a mess of these, and you just slap stickers on for whatever faction it is. Yeah, that's a sticker too. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But anyway, you guys, I'll be doing hopefully soon another unboxing, either of the big fleet box of this or for the Hazad. The Hazad isn't coming from across the pond, but uh, it's coming from a notable slow uh, retailer. Uh, so we'll see. But anyway, y'all take it easy. Carry a laser.